Welcome to the video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to show you step by step how I made blueberry jam um, with some blueberries that my wife uh, and the kids picked at a blueberry patch along with her mother and her aunt. Sam and Emma, what are y'all doing? This one is covered in blueberries. It is covered. So if you like this video, I hope you enjoy it. Um, consider rating it either like or dislike just to let me know how it's going. And with that, let's get started. It's always good to pick the stems off and to clean these as you put them in the colander. I've done that already. I've gone through and gotten all the stems off tried to get some of the trash off and I'm just giving them a spray down. For this recipe, it calls for four cups of crushed berries, which should be about six quarts to be safe of non-crushed berries. And now we mash the berries one layer at a time. We don't have to, we don't try to put them all in there at one time and, and mash because that'll just leave a lot of them not getting what they need. So I'll continue mashing these until I have four even cups. And it's super important in recipes like this to make sure, especially canning, especially jams and jellies, you have to be precise on your measurements or it will, a lot of times your consistency won't be right. Okay, now that those are mashed up, I'll show you that I got exactly if that'll focus I'll show you I got exactly four cups of mashed berries out of that uh, one and a half quarts of fresh berries while I was doing the rest of that I had this water getting ready I had these clean jars and even though they're clean I'm gonna drop them in here to sanitize them because you need to have um, sanitary jars or sanitized jars when you start this because it's going to be sealed up with a bunch of food. And even though, even though the process of water bathing should kill any bacteria that are in there, you still want to be as thorough as possible. Otherwise, what's the point of doing your own food? Now I'm going to add my berries that are crushed, my four cups, to the saucepan or pot, whatever you want to call it. Get all of that in there. And then I'm going to add my pectin, my Sure Gel Original Pectin for jams and jellies. I'm going to stir that in. And I'm also going to turn on the heat again. And I'm going to get this boiling. All right. I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of butter, once I get a knot. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of butter, just so that it doesn't foam quite as bad when it gets going. So I've been stirring this to keep it from sticking to the bottom, um, but in between stirring when I didn't need to, I've gone over here and made sure that I had all of my materials that I need. I have a recipe pulled up on my phone. Um, I've had all the materials that I need pulled out, which includes the canning funnel, the uh, magnetic sticker thinger, um, what I measure headspace with, of course my bands, and that clear glass is a glass of vinegar with a paper towel behind it in order that I can wipe these bands down real nice and clean before I put the lids on them. I also have my box of lids. Now you used to uh, put those in a saucepan of water and, and have them boiling back in the day, but Ball has come out and said that that's not necessary anymore, that you just, you can just use them the way they are. So I've got my vinegar, my paper towel, my tools, my jar grabber, um, recipe, and I'm going to bring this to a boil that boils solid. It, it has to boil to a point where stirring it doesn't stop the boil and then you're ready to add your sugar and bring it back to a boil that doesn't stop when you stir for one minute 
and then it's time to process the jam. Okay, so we've got real close to this. Okay, so we're real close to the boil that we need. Um, when you when stirring it does not interrupt the boil, then it's time to add our sugar. We're getting close to that point. In fact, I think we're at that point approximately right now. So I'm gonna stop and stir my sugar in, and then we'll have to return it to the same type of boil. Yeah, I know, super healthy for you right there. Um, we'll return it to that same type of boil, and then that will time that for exactly one minute, and then we'll start processing it into jars. So after I get this sugar in here and I feel like it's stirred in, I'm gonna hurry and get my hot jars set out on the um, kitchen towel that I have, and then that way I can return to stirring this so it doesn't burn. Again, you really, really have to stick to the times on this or you get brick jelly or gooey jelly, one or the other. So just make sure that you follow um, the times. Timing is everything when you can anyway, right? So the sugar is added and we've started to boil. When it boils, regardless of me stirring, it'll be time to start the timer, which I think is getting very close. All right, we're gonna start the timer now. Okay, there goes the timer. So I'm going to turn my heat off. I'm gonna move this guy off of that eye. And you kinda of wanna work somewhat quickly doing this, but it doesn't do you a lot of good to get in a hurry because you'll end up slowing down when you spill this on all your lids. So, or all of your rims, I mean. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and start spooning this into the jar up to a one quarter inch uh, headspace is what I'm gonna leave. Hopefully that's in the camera. Yeah. See how close I was on that headspace. Whoops. Very close. Very, very close. I'm not gonna put any more in there. I am very close on that. So, I'm gonna take my jar lid, or my jar rim, vinegar on there, burn my hands real quick. But this vinegar will make sure there's no jelly or anything adhering to, ouch, the place where that nice wax seal needs to go. Put that right there. Throw that across the ring. Finger tight. And I'm going to actually wait and put them all in the water bath at the same time. But I'm gonna repeat that for as many jars as it feels. A little white vinegar to um, keep my jars from having the calcium carbonate build up on them. It doesn't affect the taste obviously, it just keeps me from getting a white crust on my, my nice jars when I'm done. So I'll go ahead and stick these in here and get to process. I'll get these to I'll get these to a rolling boil and then I'll put the lid on and process it for 10 minutes and then it'll be time to be finished. And while we wait on the rolling boil, I think it's time for a taste test. Let me get that to focus. Taste test time. Mm-hmm. And that's just right. That's delicious. Got a good rolling boil in there. It's time to cover this up. Set the timer for 10 minutes. 